All right, we're doing it. Are they live? I don't know how many people will come hang out with us, but... Hopefully none. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right. What are we doing, Julian? Uh, I don't know. What are we doing today, John? <laughs> We're gonna st uh, we're gonna figure out hopefully and like guess how to install Task Warrior. Woo! Task Warrior. What's Task Warrior? That's more of a philosophical question. <laughs> what is? <laughs> what is Task Warrior? Um. We also just need to get a box to do this. I never checked the IP address of the machine that we're gonna end up installing this thing on. So. No. I mean, you could also spin up a new box on the SSI. That's probably a better idea. Adriel, welcome, man. Thanks for coming to hang out. How's it going? <laughs> How are things on your end of the world? Task Warrior server setup. I really hate the documentation for this thing. You'll see yeah. as soon as it... Yeah. Pre-installation preparation. Let's reinforce a good habit. Make a backup copy of your data first. Tar everything. <laughs> no, I don't want to. All right. So, oh, I guess I should figure out where this is going to go. What are you jamming on over there? I try oh, to get your I, screen set up, too. I'm going to play with Organizer, which is this, like, home lab um, uh, service organizer. It's basically like a dashboard that uses a bunch of iframes, so you can, like, instead of having to do all these, uh, hey, I just got a notification that, uh, John Hammond is live. Gosh. <laughs> um, so you could like basically have like your Plex and everything from your home lab in like a nice little dashboard and it uses like built-in like stuff that way you don't have to like remember a bunch of whole bunch of port numbers and IP addresses on your stuff. It's like an organizer. Sweet. Yeah. We're doing this without a uh, headset for me. And Julian can't stand headsets, so I really don't. Like I just highlighted the entire window. And That's ended. impressive. What the heck happened? This is disgusting. <laughs> to close out of that console. All right. I just want to know the IP address of this thing so I can SSH into it. That's literally all I'm doing. Does it have VMware tools installed? Probably. So then, X out of that window. Can I? Or well, just move move that window down. It has guacamole, doesn't it? Network something. No. What? Try oh, to... F. You suck! <laughs> I promise I'm smart. I don't believe you. I know. Yeah, hey, uh, you should probably move your terminal to you because nobody can see what you're typing. I hate that it's. Uh, the way that we set up the screen is, is very peculiar. Yeah. I mean, also, you could, like, move your window of your webcam, like, over my screen so it's just, like, a little me and you, and then you have the top right. Like, yeah. Meh. So you already started to install. Yeah, you should probably blow all my shit away. Uh, choose a machine. Choose a port. By default, Task Server uses. That's a big number. Oh damn! What's with the voice? Kaboom! Is it? Is it awful? Is the audio like horrific? It's because I'm. Not using my headset. So use your headset. I could use my headset, but then, then it would just be like me super loud and you not loud at all. Kaboom. Says it sounds weird. Audio is clipping. No! Let me turn the, the volume are you, down. You're not hardwired in, are you? What do you mean hardwired in? Do you have an Ethernet adapter? Uh, oh, no. You mean, no, I don't. You can, we can plug you in the I think I've just turned the volume down so it's not as extremely loud. We're at negative decibels, according. What's up, Jazz K1? How do I pronounce your name, brother? Another stream. People are excited about these things, and I don't know why. Because I think it's more important for me to release actual content and like actual videos. Like I don't want to be like a full-time streamer. But it's fun to showcase what we're doing when we're just goofing off and doing stupid stuff. Whoa. Oh, this is how to install it. How do I set up the server? Server. 
task data environment variable. I'm gonna hop to you, Julian. You're hopping to me. What yeah. am I doing? I don't know. You're doing some GitHub stuff. Uh, so this is our little organizer thing. I'm trying to get guacamole stuff in here, which means I probably need to go to settings and actually fix what's going on. Is the audio any better? No. <laughs> How would you know? <laughs> All right. Some people say it's not horrific, so I appreciate those. I appreciate you. I'm going to try and document this in a script, even though I guess it's not necessary. Let me make sure that directory is even a thing. Bar task B it is a thing. This probably already happened from everything that you've already ran through, but... Oh, what? <clears throat> so we're trying, or I'm trying to install uh, the Task Warrior server. So Task Warrior is a um, program <laughs> that's words are hard. Yeah, I'm I'm bad at English. Don't know any language. Task Warrior is a program that lets you just add tasks, like literally a string of text, to say this is what I need to accomplish. This is what I need to do. So. Uh, having a server allows multiple people to do that because you can install like task on your own or task warrior on your own computer and app then you can install. yeah sudo apt install whatever task warrior and you can do those things but you must specify the server it's so horrific not having both sides of my screen I essentially only have my left side which is, is a bummer to have certificates and keys. I don't know. It's just strings of text that are going on. I don't know why it needs this much setup. It does task D create its own directory or something? It should be in slash opt maybe? Maybe it's from when you downloaded it. Gz, yes, task D. Go to your task D directory. Well, this is just for task warrior. But that is the right thing. Generate. <coughs> no, I think I need the full. Install from Git. I might just do a fresh install, like. Put a new VM and just do that. Yeah, that's probably a smarter thing to do. So CronTab, what is CronTab on? CronTab? CronTab. That, that's like what controls your CronTab. I mean, yeah, yeah, someone was like, what is... So CronTab, I don't know how you... That's how you start conversations. Walk up to a woman in a bar and talk, say, hey, CronTab. John, your joke is bad, and you should feel bad. <laughs> John, you're a horrible person. The internet hates you. Accurate. You do know that you can add different sources on OBS and overlay them, so you don't have to have the left side covered. Right? Me? No, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing, man. Don't worry. What are you doing, bro? I'm, I'm trying to, like, read the um, chat that's going on, too, at the same time, but... I'm confused how it's getting task D. What's it waiting? No, wait, never mind. I'm just a fool. Don't listen to me. Also, that doesn't look like a server installation. Yeah. Unless they changed their. This, the, this is task server setup, install from Git. They changed the documentation recently. Apparently. I'm just going to do the fresh one so I can follow along. Yay. Fresh. Totally just disconnected. I'm cool. What'd you do? Oh, is CronTab, or I'm sorry, is yeah, is CronTab like Task Warrior? Would you say that CronTab is like Task Warrior? No, they're fundamentally different. 
You can't Task, say that. <laughs> I mean, it is. Task I mean, Warrior yeah. is just like basically a notepad or like a sticky note where you put your tasks on there. Like you jot a quick note and you can like put little updates on there. Whereas Cron is something your computer automatically executes programs or scripts or things. And it's like actual useful for IT. One's like a person thing, one's a computer thing. Uh, that's the best way I can explain that. In the most jackass <laughs> One's way. a person thing. It's a person thing! Are we... I'm a computer. You're a computer? Do you know that joke? I'm a computer, stop all the download? No. What? How can you even be on the internet? I'm not on the internet. <laughs> Oh, goodness. These are a lot of errors. What do you mean? <laughs> this make process is having a hard time. We're just going to do it. Nope. <laughs> My for a Roger. Talk to the people. So, what I've been working on is I'm working with Organizer. Organizer is this thing for home labs and it allows you to like kind of organize your stuff that way instead of having like a whole bunch of URLs and ports that you have to memorize, you can just have this cool little dashboard and you can put in your favorite things. So what I just set up was instead of having, um, there's uh, I just added guacamole support. So guacamole is what we use for uh, accessing all of our virtual machines. It basically allows you to do remote desktop or SSH through the browser. Uh, that way, you know, it's really convenient. So I just set up Guacamole and bada bing, now I have access to uh, different boxes and stuff. So yeah, it's kind of nifty. Um, and then I'm going to add more things into Organizer because there's a whole bunch of items you can add like Plex or Couch Potato or Torrent stuff or calendars. Um, I'm hoping to add some, like, probably, like, ESXi dashboard and, you know, just a bunch of things that allow it, make it really easy to remember. And eventually, we'll add it, cyber tools into it, because I would really, I like this um, project called CAPES, uh, CAPES.io, I think it is, cyber analytics platform, basically allows you have, like, you have a chat server on here, you have Git, you have... Uh, a sim, you have Cyberchef, uh, but it hasn't been maintained in a while, or I mean it is still being maintained, but it's just not as great as I wanted to, even though I really, really like it. Um, so I'm going to build my own version of it on top of Kickstack, or on top of Organizer, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, take the camera away from me. But, but it's so good. Not really. I am failing to make this. <laughs> Having fun over there? No. Uh, I'm surprised nobody's asked about the giant glowing E at the back of the room. It's it's our super superhero room. Oh. Task D's installed. Okay. <laughs> Let's just move on then. So, because I have the repository, I can just go into PKI and then run generate. Wow. Ah, K-Venom is here to harass me. K-Venom. It's all you can do. You're missing some build dependencies. Did you just start a new server? Uh, no. Ah. Then all the dependencies should Well, be see, when... Wait, why are you trying to make PKI? Uh, that is apparently the next thing you have to do for key certificates. What if you just don't set it up with encryption? <laughs> Actually, no, we shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you want to advertise that for our, our security <laughs> presence on the internet? Did you see all the Arc Linux memes? Oh, are you asking Julian, Cave Venom? Those are some good memes. I'm not running Arch at the moment. Only on my laptop. It needs a lib shared, but 
I mean, I uh, to the person who just mentioned, I would have to look upside down to see the name. Kick. Kicked my cat. Yeah, I kicked my cat. Um, Backwards, upside down. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I mean, I remember most of the ports and protocols for my network, um, but what eventually, what I would like to get to is basically a kind of docker setup for like an incident response thing. So like you get on site, you have a docker image that you just spin up and it spins up all of these VMs and uh, with like, you know, basically incident response tools, out of band communication, everything you need. And then it like rapidly spins up and because it's like, you know, an incident response kit, it's not like, you know, servers that you're normally working on um, or like your home servers then maybe it's a pain in the ass to try to remember all the ports and protocols and you don't want to set up, I mean, you could set up DNS, but that's also annoying to set up like on an incident response kit. But that's just my two cents. Check it out. I Googled the problem and then I solved the problem. It's science. So what was the problem? Something about not cloning the rest of the submodules in the Git repository. Ah. Classic. Gotcha. <laughs> you look like Burger Planet. I don't know what Burger Planet. Burger Planet? That's um. Hey, uh, Zarin Spy actually said that. Did you pull the source recursively? Zarin Spy, you're the man. Props to you. This is why I should just do everything that I do and like present it to the world because then the internet can help. They don't need to know you spend twelve hours for every ten minutes of content you make. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zarin. Some modules are very cool. I need to get better at doing that other than just literally putting the folder of another repository inside of another repository. Uh, I'm bad. So why, how did Cave Venom, why did you know I wear beanies? Because I don't normally wear beanies. I own a lot of beanies, but I don't wear them. don't normally like... wear beanies? Are these truth? Or just because of the, uh, the logo. Is that why? So let's go into PKI now and try and generate. No cert tool found. Task Warrior. Caleb just broke SU. He broke the switch user binary. That looks great. <laughs> I should switch to your screen for for no one to have the ability to see that. <laughs> oh, now we're switching back to me. That still looks uh, bad. Oh wait, it's starting to focus. Whoops, did I just break SU? Yeah, that's our friend Caleb. He does things. The outline on your face is someone who wears a beanie. Zarin, that's awesome, man. You know a hell of a lot more than I do. I need to. I want to pick up Ansible. It sounds like that that is just the thing to learn. Yeah, Ansible is really cool. I want to do that on a stream, eventually. Well, I mean, originally that's why I kind of got into Vagrant, was because you can kind of set up. I mean, you can't set up like full playbooks, but you can set up like quick little scripts to the configure things and you built out a whole thing with that similar with how yeah power, right? yeah you? mine was crap <laughs> i tried to work on a project that would do like rapid deployment and provisioning um so essentially what i would want ansible docker vagrant all the other chef puppet all the fancy nice devops things to do um but i didn't know all those things at the time i knew vmware vsphere and stuff and i would use power cli like the powershell bindings for handling a vsphere server and maintaining a lot of virtual machines um and so i would be able to create and like deploy a new virtual machine and then i would use uh, invoke vm script so i could run commands on it so i would literally use lots of bash and powershell and like shell scripts to install stuff which it works but it's not as beauty as, it's not as beautiful as ansible not doing hack the box right now. Uh, just playing with Task Warrior. Probably failing as usual. Um, have I seen all the CI CD stuff on GitLab? Yes, we're actually using it for some website deployment stuff, and it's awesome. What? What is it? Um, what we're doing to push new stuff to Internet Security, the CI pipelines that 
Oh. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, kicked my cat. Asked, is Julian the type of person to wear shoes indoors? So I checked, and both of us are wearing shoes right now. <laughs> it's really cold in the house. Yeah. What's up, Shirley? Cave venom. I mean, the... It's a free. Well, yeah. Unless you're saying you're so elite that you beat all the free ones already. If you want the retired boxes, that's like thirteen dollars, U.S. dollars, ten ten euros, I think. Some currency. So I'm trying to run generate, and I'm getting errors, but I can't tell if it's actually having those things error for me. Supposedly. Do I just not have cert tool? Is that literally the name of the program? Hey, Eddie, thanks so much. Yeah, I agree. It <laughs> seems like this is unnecessary for <laughs> so passing strings back and forth. if you're only running it on your computer, it's really easy. because it's, it's awesome. A, it's a quick install. But when you're trying to run it as a server, so like me and John and Caleb can all use it, that way we can like make sure everybody knows what everybody's working on and stuff. Then it's really complicated. Wait. But actually, it just goes to show that like software developers actually do a lot of legwork to get stuff set up, even if it's just like one quick install for like us, the consumer. This is why I hate SSL certs. Oh, apparently it's like easy though. Apparently, I just need this program, this binary, but I don't know how to install it. Cert util. Yeah, I can probably just app search. Pseudo app search. I can type. Can you? No. <laughs> when I'm doing a good job at it, I'm doing a good job, but maybe this is the package that I need. Let's find out. Um, so we are not using my headset, so the audio might be a little awkward, awkward and strange. Am I in the same location? What does that mean? There's a giant glowing E behind you now. Generate. It does it! Amazing! Things happen! <laughs> when you install the right tools... Thanks, Zarin. Look! How did you know all this stuff, man? Have you done? Have you set up Task Warrior before? <laughs> no, he said he works on Ansible. <laughs> so clearly I just need to have these. Eddie, thanks. Yeah, we're rolling. Are the other person... Julie and I are in the same room. I should change the screen for that. <laughs> What's up? We're just goofing off. That's awesome. Yeah. Sysadmins, respect. Like that's, that's so much hard work every day. It's like putting your, your head through the fan blades as a day job. But do you do that, Julian? <laughs> I'm not a sysadmin anymore. Not anymore. Was it fun when you were? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I mean, I did enjoy it. Yeah. But. Oh, I never actually ran this export command. <laughs> I just made it in a shell. In a shell script. It gives us a multi-dimensional view of the beanie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can, like, back up? Yeah. And... Make sure you're in the shot so that the beanie is everywhere. <laughs> now I'm in... Why would they put all of these dollar signs here when I'm just going to end up copying and pasting the command? It's, it's You're just annoying me. <laughs> you're just removing my copy and paste ability. Good evening, Ruli. Config file modified. All right, we did it. <laughs> It just puts uh, me in VAR. I think... Oh, that's fine. Both of us are using VMware right now, uh, not VirtualBox. Um, John was using VirtualBox for a while, then he bought a... or used a license key off of Amazon. You can buy the VMware workstation license key for pretty cheap. Did I... Okay, I did just do the right things. So, Zarin, this is kind of directed as you. Me and my uh, other roommate, Caleb, got into an argument about... 
how we saw, we noticed this trend of like a lot of like projects on GitHub were basically like it's doing curl it. this script and pipe it into Bash, and we just thought it was really bad practice because um, you know people are blindly like running commands, which is kind of like what they do when they copy commands like this and they copy and paste them instead of typing <laughs> them out and like understanding what they're doing, or you paste them in the wrong terminal or you run them as root when you should have run them as the user, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, yeah. I think we talked about it on a podcast once. Damon started. And then we can stop it. And then... Is it running? Yes. Is that it? Is that a, is that a 25 minute stream? <laughs> from copying and pasting? <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is educational, guys. <laughs> I hope it was educational I mean, and entertaining. Can you... Can we... Do you sync it up to your phone yet? Sync it up to my phone? Yeah, you get to do ports, PPSM. Configure all those, uh... How do I get a screen record my phone? <laughs> I mean... I'm teasing. You just have to actually, like, log into our gateway. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm teasing. Has to go start. A daemon server is typically how you'd want to run it. There are two commands I'd... Okay, so they are, they're already doing it. Interactive mode is the it doesn't need to run with the systemd file just yet. I want to connect to it. Uh, Errant Security is the name of our podcast. Um, it's on my beanie. It's, if you go to errantsecurity.com or it's on Apple. John has a shirt. I think I'm wearing a shirt too. You're wearing the shirt. As many organizations as you'd like. Let's create an errant organization. We did it. Create a user. John. I absolutely should have been keeping track of these commands. <laughs> okay, then, I don't know anything about you. I don't know I could talk for five minutes about you. It's also kind of narcissistic. Cave Venom's an alpha male. That's what he tells everybody. Alpha male? I don't know why. <laughs> He came to hang out. Task warrior. I really should have been keeping track of these commands. Um, let's just scroll through my history. Uh, Alliance is down because nobody has actually bothered to put it back up. Alliance is down because I can't do all those things that I said that I wanted to do. <laughs> I hate that there are 24 hours in a day. Why, do you want 23 hours? No. A leap, a leap year, a leap day. <laughs> um, let's put this in opt. Can't find your mouse? Oh, and... Do I have any online course? Uh, oh, really? So what we're actually doing, we are, and I've covered this a few times, so I'm sorry for repeating it for the people that know, um, we're trying to set up a Task Warrior server. So Task Warrior is a management program that allows you to just say, I need to do this, and then you can spit it up, and then it'll remind you whenever or whatever. Um, and that's super easy and fun and nice to do on your own local machine, but you want to set up a server so that multiple people can do that, like myself, Julian, Caleb, or other other silly kidlets um, that want to do stuff, we can keep ourselves organized in a quick and easy command line way. So. Hey, uh, John. Yeah. So my computer's still running, but it finally crashed again where I can't type or use my mouse. Can you SSH into my box? Absolutely. Let's check out DMessage and <clears throat> see if we can figure out what the hardware is. Let's do some, let's do some operation <laughs> on, uh, what's your, what's your IP address again? Uh, I don't know. Perfect. And map me. What? Uh, Why? A lot of boxes in it, right? Just log on to the. Uh, it was like. Ubinity thing. Oh. I can pull it up on my phone too. <laughs> Sinister Matrix. It would technically be Skidlets. You're right. Black Manager. Cool. Thanks for coming to hang out, man. I appreciate you. Unify. But it's funny because like everything's still running for. That's good. <laughs> That's already in there. Test the inits. That's not necessary. So. Um, let's 
TDP KI, my bad. This is a, a crap shell script, but I just want it in case we... Um, I should have installed... I should have installed GNU TLS bin. That's what it was, right? And that's whatever dependency that I needed for... Try 110. I thought that's what it was. I thought it was 110. SSH. 192. Read hacker. Oh no! There's been a computer on that IP address before! Yay! Alexa XPS? <laughs> e message? Are you on Alexa XPS? I don't remember. Because that's XPS is the name of my laptop. Yeah. But I might have misnamed this when I was building it. I don't. This is the machine that I connected to when you were. This, the name before I reimaged it, it should have been. It was Alexa Tower. Okay. Oh yeah, I think so. Maybe. I mean, actually, just peek out Chrome real quick and see if everything dies. <laughs> <laughs> if if my screen dies, then. Peek out Chrome. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I should I should have switched. That would have been more fun. <laughs> okay, so so run a little D message. A little D message, piping that up. All right, let's uh, give you a little more screen real estate here. So why would my Woo! why would my mouse and keyboard die? Actually, let's well, go. Well, clearly, warning CPU one pid one one two three three at kernel exit C. I think that's obvious to everyone. <clears throat> Surely, yes, we are roommates. Are we calling Caleb? Yeah, we're calling Caleb. Caleb! <laughs> Ca Caleb, you're on the internet, just so you're aware. Why am I on the internet? We're, <laughs> we're live streaming right we're, now? We're streaming and Julian wanted to call you. So well, whatever. so the issue is that my computer, um, it's still running, but I've lost mouse and keyboard. So John has stationed in my box and we're looking through D-Message right now, but we don't know what we're doing. At least. <laughs> Surprise me in any way. Uh, so I would have just rebooted if it were me. I mean, you know. I'm about to redo that, but maybe we can actually figure it out. Are you about to, like, control or control H out the thing so you can more rapidly... So I can more rapidly copy and paste? Absolutely. <laughs> are you making a script to... Yeah, just so we know these are all the steps that I needed no. to do. You know, you should make a script so that nobody else has to read this stupid thing and it just like prompts you for like <laughs> what you want the S and puts all the uh, prereqs and stuff. Caleb, I'm sorry we bothered you. I, I know I know we're taking up a lot of your hey, valuable time. Caleb, how would I how would I begin to troubleshoot my mouse and keyboard? Uh, I mean, G-message to see what the fuck's going on is my first step. I so, have no fucking clue. Uh, something about a, a CPU kernel exit, not C. Uh, I mean, that could be normal. I yeah, there's like... <laughs> Let me read you the here. Let me read you the entire output of D message. Give you the, the content of D message. Hey, you can go on YouTube and look at the live stream and see the screen. I think this is. I think it's beer time at this point. All right, I'm just gonna. Uh, oh goodness. Does like an external keyboard work? Uh, that's what I'm using right now. I'm on my desktop. Oh, it's your desktop. that shit the bed. Yeah, it's been doing it a lot. Funny. I think it's VMware or something. I just rebooted it. <laughs> well, it's, here's to hoping it actually boots, I guess. No, it, it's been doing this for a couple of weeks now. It's booting. <laughs> it's fine. It boots just fine. It's, it's fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. Who really needs a mouse or a keyboard? I hope we're giving the people what they want. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not. Anyway, I'm gonna hang up because the audio sounds really gross. Um, Disgusting. Okay, bye. Victor, thank you, brother. <laughs> it's good to see you again, man. Thank you so much for all your support. Every single time, I I appreciate. Thanks so much. I asked Julian if um, we should make a bet as to how many people are gonna ask what CTF challenge this is. <laughs> take a shot on their yeah, and Julian said we should make it into a drinking game. <laughs> so forgive me. Uh, 
I don't know how to pronounce the name, but so are you setting the stage for later or what? Uh, oh, mod probe. Yeah, that would make sense. I don't mod probe. No, but what are we setting the stage for? So yeah, We're setting the stage for us to be more organized later. That's not really necessary. Let's just to see things, but. John just sh shrugs off five years. No, okay, Venom, I'm, I'm grateful. I appreciate it. Did I not say those words already? I heard them. Yeah, I'm grateful. And we should kick K-Venom. Kick K-Venom. Yeah, where, where are my mods? <laughs> I need someone to kick K-Venom. K-Venom, I thank you for being a mod. Thanks for doing all that you do. Making all those challenges and all. Julian's computer just straight up rebooting over there. <laughs> it's running. We don't need a system D file. We just need to get a user set up now. So errant. If I run that command, will it do it again? No, it already exists. Cool. So let's 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 be smart and create variables for that, you know? Let's say organization. Um and I should capitalize this organization equals errant. Is this font too small? Oh, someone told me that I should be using uh VI and they're absolutely right. No. Um you should use micro, though. I should use micro, but I want to be a real hacker. <laughs> also, why is my computer still booting? It's got a lot. It's got a lot to go through. Oh, it's probably shutting down still. I don't know why that takes so long on like most computers. Errant. I should make sure that these things are strings. Nano rule. Zero and C, thank you. I appreciate your support. I want to. I grew up, you know, I grew up <laughs> using Nano, and that's just what I learned on because I liked it. It wasn't crazy. <laughs> Go to your task D and generate a client. Oh. Uh, We're just going to have to like run this whole script and hope everything's good. <laughs> I thought it was already running. It was. <laughs> um, opt. Where does it put it? Task server? How, do, how does push D and pop D work? Those are like the best things ever, but I don't, I always forget how they push D. Is Cave Venom high? He's like using all caps. Is Cave Venom high? So Pop D will put me there, and then Pop D will put me there. Okay. So I have to push D, period, right? So push D this, and then, like, if I were in another directory, I could do Pop D, and it would put me back. I think that's how it works, right? I have no idea. Push D and Pop D. <laughs> It's for all the beans in the can. It's for the reels. You can probably make my uh, screen disappear for a little bit. Gosh. I think you're... No. Who? This is like Russian roulette. It was me! <laughs> there we go. CD hyphen. Is that previous? Fadi. You're the man. Every single time, Fadi. Every single time. You always know. You know exactly what I need. <laughs> Truly, I'll never know if that puts if that creates the right directory. If CD task server is going to be putting me in the right spot or not. As I think it was task server Wait, when I did that earlier. Is this a fork of task server? I didn't think that was the name of it. Gothenburg bit back. That's what I had seen. Huh. But push D, C, P, K, I. Caleb? Yeah. What's he doing? 
Have I checked out KringleCon? Uh, yes. No. Oh. Read the read the read it again. I checked out. I'm trying to. KringleCon. Read yeah. that again. Have I have I checked out no. KringleCon? Read it again. Jules. Read it out loud. Jules. Who's have Jules? You, your Jules. Why did you respond? To because that? I I saw the J. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, no, I never checked it out. Pop D. Put me back in the right directory. This is disgusting. This is horrible. Yeah, why are you doing this? Well, because then I'll be able to, like, dot slash and everything will be good. <laughs> so. Wait, why don't you just use full pass? Can, I can probably just straight up tell git where to put it, right? Yes, you can. Git, specify output directory. You can drop it in straight into straight uh, slash opt. Folder name. Duh. <laughs> I thought it would have just needed a... Now we don't need any of that. Generate will run. And then CD to opt. Task server PKI one more time. Not the hard reboot my computer. I don't know why you didn't to begin with. You're just kind of hanging out. <laughs> I have so many beverages beside me <laughs> right now. Um, now I need to just actually run the generate client. Generate client. John Hammond. You gotta do some like reads in there, so. Yeah, I'll I'll make it nice and and, and comfortable earlier. I should have like, do we did we snapshot this machine at all? No, probably you just not. made the machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could just make another new machine. That's they why, need. That's why we have a server client certificate. Who's that kid behind you, John? <laughs> they want. <laughs> They, they asked, are you drinking plain milk? And that is not plain milk. <laughs> One of my coworkers made me eggnog. And that is not eggnog. <laughs> this is eggnog. I mean, it's mostly rum. Yeah, it's mostly. <laughs> All right. Let's just fucking do it now. Oh, I shouldn't, shouldn't say that. Hello, Crimson Mist. Crimson, how you doing, man? It's good to see you. your op directory accessible. If you're about to... I'm gonna make your op directory owned by you, is that cool? I mean, as long as we put it back after we're done. I think op should just straight up be owned by you, bro. Why? Because you're important. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Then you, can, then you can do whatever you want in Opt. Opt is handy. Hey, thanks, Aaron, for hanging out. Thanks, Aaron. Um, task... Task Warrior. A lot of things here. It did it. John, when are you getting back on the JH Discord scoreboard? Yeah, I was looking at the challenges today because I helped out someone else that was asking me about uh, the Monolith challenge. And I was like, I should get back on the scoreboard. <laughs> I should solve some challenges. Nah. Generate did not work. PKI did not work. Unable to look at package you can new. Stuff broke. Uh, TLS bin. I think that's what I wanted. Yeah. And then I needed to actually CD into task server. I, this doesn't make it me. This doesn't build the program though either. So it's already still very, very, very wrong. Did all the thing that it's already done before. You don't have DP. Modified. Start doing so. <laughs> Victor. Oh my goodness! Killed it with the one-liners. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm really proud. 
I'm glad I have such quality people on this audience. <laughs> Hey, I rebooted finally. Hey, computer! Can I show your screen now? Yeah, if you want to. What was that thing you wanted me to use? I just, like, killed my... Technical difficulties, everybody, I'm sorry! What's the name of the webcam program you have to use? Uh, GovCV. GovCView is one that I think is good. GovCV. Well, it's not showing up as a... Why is generate client not a thing? It absolutely is. What did I type that wrong? Generate dot client, not underscore client. Can programmers have dyslexia? Sure. <laughs> I mean, what's stopping them? My screen, screen going Your screen is going down, man. I don't oh, no. know. What's that name? Gov. Gov C view. Yeah. Gov with a U. Oh. Crimson Misk. So, Task Warrior is a program um, that is essentially a to-do list. It's. Um, Why don't you just show them a, like a locally installed? Task you're warrior? right. <laughs> Give the people what they want. <laughs> uh, yes. So, if you are running your computer. Um, and you're running install. Ubuntu. Task. Yeah, sudo apt install task warrior, I think. Yeah, task warrior. You need the full thing. You need the full name task warrior, and then you can just run task. And then it will go ahead and give you a list of the things that you want task to do or that you add, need to do. Make a stream. <clears throat> task add um, subscribe to John Hammond. <laughs> Did you type Q? I was about I was gonna do PewDiePie and then type and like say John Hammond. <clears throat> uh, so then that's a thing you can do. Now and make then another task. And then you can task add. Um, leave a like. <coughs> and then make leave a like more important. Ah, uh, I forget the syntax. I'm really bad at task. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I just found this cool thing on the internet. Yeah? It's like man pages that aren't boring. Uh, let me What's see if I can find it. Man pages that aren't boring. Yeah. I tried to add color to my man pages at one point, and it looked disgusting. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> Spoon liver. Um... This channel is about cybersecurity, kind of, weird, uh, and programming and computer stuff uh, and Capture the Flag. So I tried to showcase a lot of stuff regarding Capture the Flag competitions because I think they're good distilled ways. Justin, it's good to see you, brother. Um, Something's burning. That does smell awfully like fire. <laughs> Spoon litter. Uh, I tried to showcase some, like, Capture the Flag uh, video stuff. Um, is everything okay? Yeah, it's just the oven. Just the oven. Burning the house down. Occasionally. It happens. Remember when we left for like X many hours and totally forgot that we left the oven on? Ask about Kayla when he left the oven on overnight. That was New Year's when we left the oven on. <sighs> what if we started 2019 with a burned down house? I mean, it almost happened. Shirley, good night, brother. Thanks for hanging out. One of the best channels. Thanks, Gnud. I appreciate it. We just goof off. We just have fun. Uh, fun. I, th I like to think that when we stream, especially when it's with you and I, um, it's like education, not really, kind of, and more entertainment. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Spoon Liver, only if that's stuff that you're into, only if that's stuff that you like. Task Warrior for Crimson Mist is a thing to be able to do things. So then if you said, like, Task 2 done, you could say that that's done, and then that's over with, and you don't have to do it anymore, um, etc. And you can set how urgent it is or how important you have to do it uh, and other interesting things. Checking through that man page will give you a lot more detail. But locally, it's not that cool. If you have a lot of people that want to do something, uh, Task Server would be would be excellent, too. Generate.client, John Hammond. So, let's try that. I keep generating new keys. <laughs> I want to make sure our script is all good. The script will only be good if it works on a completely fresh server. Exactly. Okay, so... It made ones for... 
on. <laughs> okay. So then we have their client stuff. The new user key. Yours will be different. Where is the user key stored? Did it say? The only way to validate sounds for time. Okay. Oh, should I have actually put the right? We'll probably go by IP address, right? Jesus of Suburbia has a deep concern, and they're asking for us to resolve it. What's that? Jesus of Suburbia has a deep concern. Please resolve it. What's the deep concern? <clears throat> Jesus, what's the deep concern? We're here to help. Possibly. I have a full degree in therapy. Blasphemy. <laughs> Lies. They're all lies. Hello, I am Jesus. Please reply. We're here for you, brother. <laughs> How did we get the user key? Is it in one of these things? What was that? Is that my mattress? <clears throat> Big dice, I did not get a degree from MIT. <laughs> I applied, but I did not. This is the private key. I need the key. No mattress. no mattress. Dang it. Did it give me... It gives me like a UUID, but... It straight up doesn't. Oh, new user key. Should have figured that out. So I need a way to cut that. I think it's... Let's just nano. Well, the way you can cut this is basically if it asks you in the beginning, like, do you want to create a user? Or what's the <clears throat> user's name? Yeah. Then you'd be able to, like, you know, do it that way. Yeah. And <clears throat> we can just grab the, the line. And deck in one, get the first line, reverse it, cut it by spaces, get the first field. Probably don't even need to reverse it though. It's just stupid convenience. One, two, three, four. And there's a the user key. Okay. Yiggles, that is Julian. He's my roommate. No, I'm not. You're not? You're a liar. What do you do here? I do things. <laughs> I do things? I drink and I know things. That's true. Do you get the reference? No. Is that I'll from someone? It. Yeah, I'll, I'll let everyone just... I drink and I know things. What is that a reference to? Because I don't know. Um... <laughs> you, uh, key... Or user key can equal that. And let's use the new command substitution. Um, are they warm? Are they heated? Yeah, I should, but user key. Should I have dinner on stream? I don't think people would appreciate that. I mean, we can switch off. We can switch to my camera. <laughs> That's true. What's up, Collateral? Thanks for hanging out, man. Thanks for coming on. I promise we're getting this done, Julian. We're, we're accomplishing this task. 
I have everything that we need to add the user. Are you making like that really nifty VPN script? I mean, I'd like to, yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? The one that I made? No. The one that builds a VPN and then you can add users to it later and generate more services? I would love to, yeah. So, first of all, I need to actually tell us, Echo, your user key is now, let's add a new line here, user key. The is that opt task server pki c.cert.perm pem you ever gonna add mods to these streams? No. This is that's what uh Sinister Matrix was asking. No. I do need to do that eventually. Well, <laughs> if it's Sinister Matrix then yes. If it was if it was a K then I'm asking. <laughs> Julian and Caveman, I'm just never going to get along. Never see eye to eye. Eagles, you are the best mod. You know that. I did not complete the Python challenge. I still need to. Dig in the cut. Thanks, Justin. Appreciate it. The scruff. It's fun. It's enjoyable. Don't encourage him. You don't like it. No, I think it just needs to be trimmed. It just needs to be, yeah, I just need to be clean. I like, I like the beard. <laughs> I think it needs to be trimmed. Yeah. I did 20 levels out of 30. I think I'm on like 20, 20. I don't remember which one I'm on. I'm stuck. I need to get the breadth first search because the code um, for the breadth first search, I, I've seen it and I've done it, but I was like, this makes no sense. I don't understand. <laughs> How is this working in the way that it's working? So I want to be able to teach it and I want to be able to teach it right. So the breadth first search is, is uh, killing me. Um, user key used to be different, account name, that should be fine. I think I can just set this up now. I think so. Let's try it. Let's run task warrior setup. Do it. Key is that. Okay. So now I have my task machine. Let's do let's copy all this stuff over. CD dot task. Great. So SFTP JJ Blanco admin. Two and two. What are you working on over there, buddy? Well, I'm still playing with uh, the stupid thing. <laughs> stupid organizer. Not yeah. Um, task server, escape PKI, let's get ca.cert.pem. Let's get John Hammond, cert.pem. And then the key. Are you not using air? Oh, what? Are you not using Errant? Uh, Errant is the organization, and John Hammond is the user. So, I want to see if it, I want to make sure this works first, and then we'll set something up to like script it so that we can add a user smartly. I meant more. Does it know like where it is on the internet and stuff? Uh, not right now. I don't. I want to make sure. I want to see if it works locally. So. 
so config. Let's just go ahead and steal this again. What are these hyphens for? Is that even necessary? Is it annoying, Julian, when I talk out loud for these things? Yeah. Okay. But that's because I always don't you know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just don't, I just don't think, it's, I hope it's not stupid to... No. Nah. You good. Is that how you have yeah. Yes. Okay. So now task config task d dot server. Ooh, the IP address. Five, three, five, eight, nine. Yes. Good. Task config. Eat my food. I'm going to switch to you. I know this is really exciting. I'm really boring, so nobody should ever be excited about me. <laughs> I just don't want the wonderful audio of me chewing on something. I mean, the audio is still going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> Yiggles, we're setting up this task manager server thing to try and better ourselves and, like, actually stay on task you know or or an idea of what we're doing and on schedule like what we would want to accomplish and we don't forget because we pretty much have adhd like not gonna lie we'll get home from work and then we'll be like i want to do this and they're like oh but i forgot about this i don't you know i think that's mild you think that's what uh user not found so um Eagles, I'll switch to me for a second. I was trying to showcase this to Crimson Mist earlier, but if you run task, it shows you a list of things that you need to do or what you want to do. Um, so you can task add um, become a patron. <laughs> uh, and then you can change the priorities of it if you want, or you can just mark it as complete or something, or say how long it's been there, or say task two done, and then it will remainder with what you have left. So it's nice and handy. But Justin is asking, how are you guys handling streaming multiple rigs or an Nginx RTMP server? Mm. Well, that's one way we could have done it. So when we first tried, as I have a mouthful of food, <laughs> when we first tried to stream the very first podcast, which is why it looked so crappy, we spun up a Windows 10 virtual machine with Open Broadcast Studio. And then we had two VLC instances running, and then we were using FFmpeg to grab our screen and send it across the network to VLC, where VLC would then be captured as a window record on OBS. That was really laggy. Uh, it had a lot of tearing issues. Um, and we were on Wi-Fi, so it was really bad. So what we eventually did next was we bought, like, HDMI screen capture cards meant for, like, gamers who were, like, playing PS4. And we run really long HDMI cords across the room. So I can sit at my desktop, and he can sit at his desktop. And then we just plug a capture card in, and then tell OBS to grab off that capture card. That's the gist of it. What did you say? Hmm. <laughs> Justin says, look into New Tech NDI streaming. New Tech NDI streaming? Yeah. Okay. Do you like... Live overflow! What are you doing, brother? Hey! <laughs> Welcome! So professional. <laughs> you trying to, like, cheese on me with all this dinner that I'm eating and... Yeah. The, the beer beside me? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't professional at all, brother. Hey, do you like our... E 
Yeah, yeah live overflow. We need your approval on our giant E. Julian, can you tell me what the hardware that actually is like set that up? Because yeah, so you can switch to me. Oh yeah. Um, that way you can keep eating your skewer. Fine. So, what we did for the E, the errant security. Um, so, just so you don't know, John and I both own um, this website that we are starting to like uh, write a blog on. We're not very good at it. <laughs> um, this is our. This is a pretty good article that our friend wrote, Caleb, and then this is John's article. But anyway, you have this E right here, this errant security E, um, that we kind of like made off of a couple things we were inspired by. Kind of looks like the E from Mr. Robot. We didn't realize that until after we made it. Um, real story. But anyway, so we decided to make, uh, oh, so on Hackaday, which is a website I frequent a lot, I saw this really over-engineered signboard. Um, and it looked like that. Um, come on. There we go. So basically we saw this signboard and we we're like, wow, that's really cool. Obviously we don't have a hacker or like a maker space, so we didn't need something that big. But basically what they did was they used um, the NeoPixels or the knockoff versions, which are based on the WS2812 chips, um, which is basically there's little microchips on each LED so you can electronically control them. They monitor um, pulse width PWM, uh, that way pulse width modulation, that way they know what color it is and you can individually address them. Um, so we took one of these strips and an ESP32, um, which are really cool. Basically, they're microcontrollers. Um, you can program them if you write in C and then just compile it. You can upload code to them. Um, or Arduino has a module for them as well. Uh, basically, they're a microcontroller with a Wi-Fi uh, chipset on board. So that way, uh, that big air and security E in the back, we can control it via Wi-Fi if we need to. Internet of things like. Uh, but we still have G uh, general purpose input output as pins, that way we can write whatever we need to to actually interface with the thing. It's not like a commercial IoT project. Uh, so basically, because of this guy, he made his makerspace thing over um, his LED signboard, we made the one that you see in the back of the video, um, which was basically for us just trying to make something. Um, yeah, so what we did was we took a piece of wood, we took the back, we painted it white, and then we took another piece of plywood and we cut out our logo and then we suspended it on like three inch nails. That way it gave it some depth. And then we put the LEDs on the back of this piece of wood. That way they shine back onto the white painted piece of wood. And then we put all the wires and the power supply and the microcontroller on the back. And then basically we can individually control each LED, which gives us the ability to like paint and make different patterns and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we did. Eventually, we'll add more IoT things into the house. I used to have my alarm clock on IoT. Uh, basically, it was a Slack thing. I could like Slack my alarm clock and tell it what time I wanted to wake me up, and then it would like go off at that time. Um, also, like there was a Python script that would also send a command <coughs> to my alarm uh, to my lights, and it was really annoying because I would usually wake up before the lights went off. Um, but when Caleb was living with me in my old apartment, which was a studio, um, it would turn off the turn on the lights at like 6 a.m. Well, he, I went to work already. He would be asleep because he wasn't um, at work yet. And it would wake him up every morning. And he never could figure out why they were turning on. And eventually I told him it was a Python script talking to a microcontroller. And he got really mad. It was kind of funny. Live, live Overflow asked, like, where is the video about us building that? <laughs> we started to record Yeah, that. we literally started to record footage for it. And then it was like, this is weird. <laughs> I still have some of it, though. I don't know. We could probably do like a polish or a walkthrough of yeah. post on how we built it and coded it. Um, the code's not terribly complicated. Um, John still needs to code a Slack bot. That way, like, it'd be really cool if everybody could like send commands to it. So like, you guys could be controlling the color of the LED signboard during the screen by sending like commands to our server. We could expose it using Ngrok or something. Ngrok is supposedly very cool. I don't like the idea of handing off stuff to another company. Yeah. Um, I understand its simplicity and it's good for like front end developers because they don't need to understand like 
uh, servers and PPSM and everything. Basically, they just run this little script and it installs something and then it exposes their stuff to, uh, it exposes a local server to the internet Sweet. through a third party service. And that just bothers me fundamentally. I understand, like, all the front end developers love it because it's really simplified their lives, but it just bothers me deep down, um, personally. Do what I want. Did you like those skewers? Yes, they're very tasty. I didn't know if they were. Yeah. All right. Sync failed. Could not connect a little. I probably needed to set it up with um, localhost, not there. Stop. Stop you. Local. I think I need to actually specify so it's actually binded to this. One, two, one, two. So now let's see how we do. And then we'll copy everything over again. Do it all over again. SF, SFTP. SFTP. S <laughs> SFTP. Our roommate, other roommate hates SFTP. He yells at us all the time. Why yeah. aren't we using SCP? Consistently needs to use SCP, and it's very annoying. <laughs> like, the inner. It, I just like being interactive in SFTP, personally. You got to hear from Caleb, <laughs> that, that beautiful phone call that we did. That's where the professionalism comes in, live. <laughs> Let's get the things that we needed, which I already forget what they are. Setup is over here. Get. What does the random art in the key do? I think that's just some visualization of how it's being generated or a means of transporting something. Admittedly, I don't know. I'm not that, not that smart. Got both and the user key. Public first name, good. And then the task config needs to be done. Which we have. Yes, yes. We need to set up a personal lab testing environment. Getting another server rig soon. Yeah. We have a pretty big rig, Sinister. Um, it's been the goal. want to play on it. Or we, you could set up a rig, and we can set up a rig, and then throw stuff and attacks and leave vulnerable services running. Those are all things that we want to do, but just a matter of finding time. Brandon said he was going to do it, too. Did he succeed? I don't know if he actually built his rig yet. Probs not. That boy's getting married. And moving. And dealing with his new car. Did he hear he's moving to Woodbridge? Yeah. I don't know why I just got really excited because it wasn't necessary. We didn't even sync it yet. The sync is where I think this is going to suck. Task sync in it. Yes. Uh, dual core and 64 gigs of memory. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, here, I can pull up my rig. Uh, Switch to Julian. So this is our rig that we use for Aaron security to do research and other stuff. Uh, that's the wrong IP address. 1.8. I need to fix that eventually. Um, so that's our rig. We have two Xenons 2570s in there, something like that. Uh, 2670s right there. Um, like 80 gigs of RAM and a couple terabytes of hard drive space. Um, two pros. Oh, turns in this. Nice. Seems like you have a pretty similar rig to us then. 
Yeah, we just run a bunch, bunch of virtual machines on here for whatever we need to. What is the hardware model, by the way? Um, uh, that's my rig. It's an AS Rock motherboard. And that's the type of RAM we use. And those are the processors. Is there any way you can bring it to the left side of your screen? What? The parts that you're showcasing. It's a custom build. I regret it now. I wish I would have just done a regular build um, and bought a like Dell R710 or something. Actually, oh. if I could do it again, I'd probably build a like couple of ESXi machines, and I would build them around the uh, Intel NUC Whoops. i7. Um, not that one. Not that one. Oh, they have an i9 NUC? i9 NUC? So this That's one, new. Um, so this NUC is like really, really powerful. Um, actually, any of the i7s are probably good enough, and then you can put like 32 gigs of RAM in each of them, um, and build in a solid state drive, and basically get a lot of performance out of them, and then they're real small, so if you like live in an apartment or something, or you need to make them portable to like bring them to run a CTF or something, you can carry them with you. Um, when I played on the OpenSock Blue Team CTF, um, this... CTF, oh, they fine. ran the whole range for 100 people off of like three of these Intel NUC i7s. Um, and it was a really good CTF. God damn it. Yeah. Right, John, get me off this oh no! <laughs> here, Come back to me. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to another rendition of I Don't Know How to Entertain You. Um, now that I've copied everything over, now I can just do the same task config with the right IP address. Nice. Two. Yeah, those HP servers are really nice. Um, I just stupidly wanted to build one from scratch just to do it because I'd never built a computer before. And that led to a lot of returns and eBay purchases that I didn't need to make. Yes. Task sync in it. Yes. What the crap? Handshake failed. Error in the certificate. Sync failed. Could not connect to the task server. Uh oh. Trouble in paradise. Why is that? Machine's a thing. Do I have task? No. It's running. I see you running. There are two of you running. <laughs> is that supposed to happen? Crimson Mist is asking if there is something at the CTF link at AaronSecurity.com. 
No. <laughs> it's been on our to-do list, but since we don't have a task order server, we've been forgetting our to-do no, list. It's just that, oh, uh, yeah. It's, yeah. We're getting there. We're going to build out Alliance. Alliance.Air Security is going to be our, like, CTF framework and write-up framework and hopefully have, like, a little, like, community to it. Um, but we just haven't done it yet. Do what I say. Pseudo. Pseudo. These are not the droids you're looking for. Okay, so now... This starting here would just task D, CTL, start. Why? The certificate is right. It's no. literally right. I don't believe you. I see it. I put it there myself. Did you? Yeah, with my SFTP. Your SF what's about? My. <laughs> Him insert pem has credentials at the right. That's the right user. Right. Yep, that's the right user key. And that's the right key. Maybe I can use the debugging one and see if that works. But... I don't need the systemd file. Maybe it's not creating the server the right way. Maybe it's user error. The certificate and key generation scripts make assumptions that are guaranteed to be wrong for you. Specifically, the generate server script has a hard-coded canonical name entry that is not going to work. You need to edit the vars file. Well. <laughs> I guess I, uh, I guess I should have done that. <laughs> Edited the VARS file. I guess I should have fully read the instructions. <laughs> Nano VARS. Canonical needs to be localized. Specifically, the generate server script has. RTFM, that's right. So, can I just give it match the server? Yeah. It is the value against task where it validates the server name, so use a similar value to food at example.com. But of course, don't expect that to work for you. Oh boy. Well, let's give it the IP address and let's see what happens. And that should be the only configuration change that has that is that is different from what we've done. Wait. Wait. Is it overriding the vars variable every time I create a new every time I rerun the script? No, it's not. So Let's SFTP it all again. CD opt task server PKI. Get everything that's a PEM file. And then copy each of these one by one. Cert server and then I 
I should just save this command. Whoa! What the heck? Yeah, that's right. Errant. Yes. Task sync in it. Please, God. No. Let's Google our error message. Is that smart? Is there a verbose option? Or log files? Yeah, let's let's try and run the server as like in debug mode, which I know we can do. What? What? It is running. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dead. Set to bug mode. Set to bug mode. Run an interactive. Try and connect. Oh, what the garbage? What the crap? Was it just not running before? I don't understand why. Okay, let's kill it. Obviously, it won't be able to sync now. Let's set it to zero, right? So there's no debug. And run like the daemon. PSOX. Grep task D. Hmm. Do it. What the what? <laughs> okay. So now let's make this script smarticle. Let's go back to where we were. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of a smart way to do this because it's really just going to be a lot of read lines. Test warrior setup. Giggles, have I ever said that? I don't think I have, but I'm going to have to start saying that from now on. What is it? What the knick-knack paddywhack? No, I don't like that. You don't like it? No, I don't approve. I like the wham-bam, thank you, ma'am things. It's something that you say. Thanks, Giggles. I hope you don't mind if I pick up on your lexicon. On your vernacular. You don't say it out loud. <laughs> you, just, you just say it in your head. <laughs> Script will attempt to automate the creation and setup of a task. How far along is this line? Way too far.
the default answer. So, point of contention. Are these things called braces, as in the, the square shape? And are the these things called brackets? Because that's how I have been taught of what they are. The uh, These are square braces, and these are curly brackets. I think that's right, right? Obviously, these are parentheses. Like, you're an idiot if you don't think that, but... Yeah, curly braces, I don't, curly brackets, no, nuh-uh, I disagree, <laughs> just, all right, just, I have it backwards, square curly brackets, square curly brackets, squirrely braskets, squirrely braskets, <laughs> what's a squirrely brasket? Maybe, all right, I guess I'm just dumb. Okay, <laughs> fine. Go log files and let's just die. Read command not found. Why is there an equal sign there? Oh, I need to do that command substitution. Horror, <laughs> horror, horror. Read. Does read like not take that as? Is that not how that works? Read what? Hello. Echo. Hello. Oh, duh, duh. I'm an idiot. I think it's obvious. Uh, Yiggles wants to see Caleb. What are you doing here, bro? Caleb's on the stream. Everyone, leave. Caleb's on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yiggles wants to see more hardware projects. Get a Raspberry Pi and do stuff. Sounds like a bad interpretation of brisket. <laughs> Justin. Hey, where's Yiggles? Yiggles is in the chat. All right, ready? <clears throat> Caleb, it's already installed, bro. Hardware project number one. Oh, hang on. Let me switch to Goolian. Hardware project number one. It's number one. Hardware project number two. Hardware project number three. Uh, where's my software defined radio? Somewhere around here. Oh, can we bring that to ShmooCon, by the way? Yeah, we can bring it to ShmooCon. Um, they have the Wi Fi CTF. Caleb, have you ever done the Wi Fi CTF? Has anyone uh, in the chat. Real time operating systems. Really fun to play with on a T uh, TI MSP 432, I believe this is. Yeah, 432. Uh, what other hardware projects do I have going on right now? Um, Oh, I'm building a localized positioning system out of these guys. So these are um, some boards that I built. Uh, just had the PCBs made on Oshpark. Um, basically, they're using a chip made by a company called DecaWave, uh, DWM1000s, with a Arduino Pro Mini on there. And what they do is, when you have two of the chips, they use ultra-wideband pulses, and they uh, compare the phase difference to calculate time of flight between the RF signal bouncing between them. So they can, uh, they can measure distance to, I think, like 10 centimeter accuracy uh, with 
RF. Um, what else do I have going on? That's my only projects for the moment. Uh, playing with some solid state relays too to control some stuff around the house. But anyway, yeah, stuff and things. My day love. <coughs> I miss you. RTOS just stands for Real Time Operating System. It's a low level kernel, kernel for microcontrollers usually. I miss me too. Let's get some colors up in here, bro. Red. I forget all these. Caleb, Let's... I told you that Adobe was installed on uh, one of the guacamole boxes. <clears throat> Billy Meter is going to schmook on. Can I please say that I think that the argument to T-put set AF is hilarious. Set... <laughs> I like the syntax for T-put when you're setting the foreground color because it's set AF and it just looks like I want to set this as fuck. <laughs> SGR zero. Hello. T put. Oh. Set up. Bumble. Set up. Are you picking up girls over there, dude? No. <laughs> no. No? You didn't ask if I was trying. <laughs> Are you trying to pick up girls over there? <laughs> I get the joke. Uh. Well, let's just put these in a smart thing. Red. Can equal... Wait, can a... Uh... You on screen, bro? Uh, hold on, I need to show Caleb something now that he's you on You want screen, bro? I, I, in, a, in a moment. But I just need to make sure I have everything. Sam. Two. Three yellow. Blue. I forgot to say stuff. <laughs> What's up? I forgot that I needed to like say things to entertain people, but I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> So what I'm doing right now, I can say those things at least, um, is I want to create like simple convenient scripts or convenient functions to just be able to like say, I want this line in a certain color, it'll just echo and display it out. So it's super dumb, it's super cheesy, um, but I like colors. I like when things are pretty, look at that. I should probably do that in green. RGB. 
I guess I wrote B R G in this case. Brig. Berg. Bergy. G. G. Colorama is my favorite, bro. Color coding is best coding. You're right. <clears throat> okay. So next, say if log folder is equal to nothing. I guess we don't even need the semicolons there anymore if we're just doing that. Oh, you're playing with the E? Yeah, I think it's kind of you. Eagles, that's a good point. It means that <laughs> means that it, it already works. It already functions. I didn't mean for this to become into a long screen uh, long stream. We're gonna cut to like two hours, but I mean it works. Like we got we got it installed and um I just wanted to clean up this so we have something like portable and easy and Uh, bash can test if a directory exists with if tack e, right? I believe so. If directory exists. Laravel, what are you doing in my life? Get out of here. I think it's just, yeah, if tack e. Bash's if stick like conditionals are so weird, man. I don't know why. Every every like shell cert like shell language or shell shell scripting language or they just most of them are weird. Hey, totally unrelated, but is it not possible for me to capture the anti CSRF token and make the user post it on the same domain and maybe tag myself in case of social networking sites? You can, if, if, if you have cross-site scripting or some way are receiving the source or uh, the page of another person and you are getting their CSRF token and their cookie, then, yeah, if, if you have the CSRF token and can make a user post it somewhere or you can get it somehow, some way, then yes, I think, if that's, if that's what you're asking. Maybe. If tag oh. F. Yeah, the tag D is what I tried to do. I'm getting kernel panics on the mi microcontroller. Kernel panic on our E. <laughs> Log data, folder, what did I name this variable? <laughs> Damn it. Can I, I can make the user visit my website and do it, can't I? Um, watering hole tag. Yeah, watering hole tag is, uh, tag is a thing. If you have cross-site scripting, just drive them wherever you want, man. Installing Arch on the E. <laughs> they want to know if we're going to install Arc on it. Arc? 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 Arc Linux? Arc? 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 <laughs> then... The directory. Let's just do this.
<laughs> what? It's because the frickin' double square braces. Yiggles Moto. I love you, brother. Thanks so much. Yo, we're gonna come hang out pretty soon. I'm gonna take a flight to where you're at and we'll share a, a, a glass full of whatever liquid you want except for that one. That's weird. Don't think about that. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> Eagle sent me some, some big love. All caps big. Thanks, brother. Did Victor send you one Billy Meter looks like gets he gets my jokes. Crimson, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for taking that one out of the gutter. I broke the light. You broke our E? Yeah. E! <laughs> Why does this not work? What is that if statement is freaking out? Integer expression expected. Is it because it's a string? You play yourself. Victor, you're the man. Thanks again for... Victor and Eagles, thank you again. Kill, I'm like literally looking at your syntax and I'm not. I, oh my god, it probably has to be a string. Or just in quotes for some reason. No. Line 33. Am I looking at the wrong line? Am I an idiot? Probably. Yeah, I am. Why is that? Is attack EQ necessary for only in integers? Why? Command not found. Oh, I need to create that function. Why? <laughs> why is why not a command? Oh, now it's fixed. Caleb, I'm sorry, brother. And that was actually not the issue. It was like, yeah. I, Yiggles, he's promised to come see me. I will. <laughs> Let's actually meet halfway. You get on a plane, and I get on a plane, and we'll just meet halfway in the air. Things. You're right, I am. <laughs> I better tone it down. It still needed quotes. Yeah, Caleb, you're probably right. I solved one bug without meaning to. <laughs> good. The colors are all that I want right now. That's good. CD opt. Ask a question. Let's delete. Careful, NSA is watching. It's true. Final 50. Oh no! I kid. I kid. I joke. Um. What directory should the source for be kept? Let's do parent directory. How about that? Which parent directory should the source for task order be kept? And we don't need task D anymore. Let's just do, I'm going to say opt because I like that. BB kept. I opt. Read.
cutting out 10 minutes here. What's up? So we get like 10 more minutes until we're two hours in. Probably cut it short then. Go watch Burn Notice. Go watch Burn Notice. Say, so we've done a lot of work today. Not really. No, we haven't. <laughs> we don't normally do a lot of work. However, I do like where the script is going, personally. That directory... You should be able to see... Oh yeah, I still have like half of a... What is this? What is this again? <laughs> Fast server? No, I'm, I was referring to the uh, shish kebabs here. Oh. <laughs> the word was escaping me. Shish kebabs. Skewers. Reruns of Burn Notice or new episodes? Justin needs to know. Uh, whatever's on Amazon Prime. Well, I'm still catching up because I am halfway through season two. And you were the one that got me onto it when... You were at, like, season five. Yes, I'm currently on season five. Sinister Matrix, thank you, man. What? I appreciate you. You send them some, some funds. We need to do another video again sometime soon. Yes, absolutely. Do you want to learn Ansible with me? Because I need to... We don't need more projects. Well, <laughs> I need to learn Ansible. <laughs> That's fair. I need it for... Uh, what's it? Rock and SM has an Ansible playbook. Yeah. Most everything has awesome Ansible stuff, so we should jump on that. Creating directory task data. Oh, task data is just the environment variable, so it doesn't matter. That's fine. Yeah, maybe learn some PowerShell. That would be a good idea. I really don't like developing this in Nano, not gonna lie. <laughs> Install Micro. <laughs> you need to come replace all of our teachers here. That's what you need to do. Caleb will be there soon. I'm gonna start Monday. Wait, why did you just say yes? Oh, Micro. Oh, Micro. He's <laughs> <laughs> getting hyped up about Micro. <laughs> Why's that? Can Caleb and you make videos on red and blue teaming? Caleb will be dressed in red and I'll be dressed in blue and we'll just fight to the death. We did a podcast on... Or actually, our first podcast, podcast was on red team infrastructure. On air. <laughs> Yiggles is killing you. Caleb is our uh, resident red teamer. He just finished his OSCP. And his CISP. You're both a manager that talks about nothing and a technical operator that does everything. <laughs> In my humble opinion. Hey, Caleb, I actually mentioned... Yeah, we uh, talked about that a little bit ago. about that, the piping into bash thing. Don't I talk about CISP. CISP. I said OSCP. I, I mentioned CISP. Oh. Justin Wagner, I would absolutely love some red teaming info. You mean the deets? We've done it a few Congrats times. On the sis. <laughs> Rest in peace. Get well soon. <laughs> I heard you want to do your sism next, Caleb, right? Oof. To each his own, Billy Meter. <laughs> Where's the mods when we need them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? I keep forgetting what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. That's the hard part of that in the stream. CEH is the shit. 
Oh yeah, let's talk about the real stuff. Ceh. That is some dangerous, dangerous skills you have as a Ceh. Hey, nice. OSCE is pretty cool. Um. Which? What? Cert tool. Okay, so if that fails, which LS, then that should just be zero. Okay. And which should be installed by default? Let's do. <laughs> All right, I'm getting close to two hours, so I'm going to wind this down. Um, what I have put together from the ashes and dust is a small script that will go ahead and download and configure and use some a hard-coded IP address and totally hard-coded username. Um, <clears throat> but this was just for, okay, the proof of concept, will it run through everything? And it will, and it does. Um, now I want to try and make it a little bit more customizable where the user can enter the variables that they want for where it's installing stuff, the user that they're adding, um, where it's stored, and what the host and IP address and everything is. Uh, and that's next. That's what we're going to keep cranking on and working on. Um, because that, that really helps generalize this tool and this functionality here because that's really what we wanted. Uh, I don't know how we're going to end up offering the files that are necessary for the user at the end, maybe an SCP or FTP, whatever we end up doing. Um, but at least we can say we did get a task server installed. Wait, we, wait, hold on. How do I install it on a machine? You should teach me how to... How do you install it on your machine? How do I connect to your server? Oh, sure. <clears throat> so... Let me just make a copy of this because we still have those crap um, hard coded ones. You, you miss an F and a T in there and you put an extra C. That's for your Caleb. Yeah, you're going to get a syntax error with that period there, Caleb. That's not a real command. It's a <laughs> new clients.sh. Let me just spam out a new client for you. Julian Blanco. Is there a way that I can send you this? Slack it to me. Okay. Whoa. What, what the fuck? What? Something is wrong. Why is it? Let's do that rev setup because whether we use, whether or not we use um, spaces, we never we'll never really know. So what the crap? Organization. We actually need to set the goddamn variable. That would help. <clears throat> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Making a fool of myself. Julian, thanks for your donation, buddy. <laughs> thanks so much. I'll be careful not to spend that all in one place. <laughs> Super Chat just does wonders for our our, our rent. <laughs> Alright. So, on your machine, okay. I need you to go to your uh, dot task folder your dot task directory I don't even know I don't think I have 
cast order. You fool! Hold on, I'm going full screen. <laughs> I hope you I hope you realize that you made an ultimatum for our stream, as in if this doesn't work, all of the two hours is worth nothing. <laughs> oh yes. Okay, I have Task Warrior installed. What do I do now? Um, so change the directory into your dot task uh, folder. Okay, I'm not able to task complete this. Uh, Maybe I should. Yes. Okay, so change directory into my dot task. Okay. <clears throat> so now I need you to go ahead and uh, SFTP <clears throat> to uh, your user at the uh, dot two one two machine. So now change directory into, oh, yeah, their opt. Go to opt? Yep. Okay. Task warrior, or I'm sorry, task yeah. server, yep, yeah. and then PKI. Okay. So make sure there's a Julian Blanco script in there. Cool. So get both of those perms. Just get. Cool. And then the next one. What's the next one? Oh, he. Why'd you just slap me? <laughs> well, I'm showing you how to do it, brother. Giving the people what they want. Okay. Uh, and make sure. Okay. <laughs> also need you to get the ca.cert.perm. So I'm gonna need you to reconnect. <clears throat> Kicked my cat. Thank you. Giggles Mona. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even realize you guys were going. <laughs> server pki so get the ca.cert.pem file that one? yep <clears throat> great so uh now that it's all there mm -hmm. you should be able to go to slack and copy the commands that i just gave you <laughs> because it has your user key and it will go ahead and set the configuration for the task server there And you'll have to do the same thing for those others because it likes to prompt you for each one for some strange reason. I wonder what ask does. Hmm. We like to do the uh, live. Uh, Justin Wagner, thank you so much, brother. Thanks so much. We're going to keep goofing off. We're going to keep hanging out. We're going to keep doing lots of these things. Uh, change it to Julian Blanco. Errant Julian Blanco and then the key. Sorry. <laughs> yes. I don't know how Super Chat works, guys. Do I have to wait for that thing to completely like finish before that actually happens? So, all right. Are all those configuration changes made, Julian? Are all those configuration changes made? They are now. Cool. Wait. Why did it say John Hill? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So now, ideally, resting on the integrity of this entire stream, if you type in task sync init, uh, spaces in between those, sorry. Hopefully, you will get a success. Otherwise, all of it was for naught. <laughs> What a comedy show, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a great night. <laughs> it's running. Like I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it's running. 
<laughs> I think we should end on that. Yeah. You killed it? Um, maybe we didn't, I don't think I ended up configuring all of the things for you. Uh, it's Sinister Matrix it's and over. Scream. Is it over? No. No, we're still live. Hold on, I need to call Caleb. Oh, Roger. No, you, you can end it, though. Alright. Goodbye, everybody. I hope you had fun. <laughs> it works on my end. It works on my machine.